Hey everyone, it's Jamie here and welcome to Travel Blog Jamie. Before you proceed, have you watched parts one and two? You've missed all of this. And now that you've caught up, it's day 15 and we are about to embark Disney Wish from Port Canaveral heading to the Bahamas. Now then, I've covered this cruise in great detail over on my channel, so make sure you catch up. However, here are those highlights. Through the ears. Once we arrived at the port, it was just 35 minutes for check-in and boarding. Disney Wish is currently the largest in the Disney fleet, carrying 4,000 passengers. As you know, we don't have children, so the first thing we did was to check out the adults-only areas. These include multiple comfy lounge areas, plunge pools, bench pools and hot tub bars, coffee shop and exclusive restaurants. And of course, there's plenty to keep families occupied, although we were quite partial to a little kick of adrenaline on Aquamouse. Oh, we are burger whores, I'm sorry. Let's do this. Find out what we thought of every meal on my complete vlog. Likewise, if you'd like to see a full tour and review of our cabin, just search Travel Blog Jamie Disney Wish Interior Stateroom. Wow, this is an atrium and half, isn't it? Oh, and look who's over there. Hey, you two crazy kids. Well, this is crazy. Look at it. <laughs> wow, that carpet is messing with my mind. I know, I know. How many perspectives can I get? Quite a lot, actually, folks. That age-old question. Do people decorate their doors? <laughs> oh, I think maybe they do. Oh, wow, I really think they do. Oh, look, and this person's got lollies. Help yourself. <laughs> oh, and we've got lights and roses. Blimey. Chin chin, Matthew. You try not to break this glass. Look how dainty it is. That is delish, by the way. Very fruity. Sparkles in the mouth. This is the Mrs. T. It's just like being back in England, isn't it? <laughs> Amazing. Thank, thank you so much. Look at this. This is crazy. And look, it's Matthew. Matthew just said it's like Oppenheimer. Oh my God, he's so inappropriate. Our first dining experience is going to be in 1923 and the Walt Disney section. Yes. There are three unique main dining room experiences on Disney Wish, and yes, you'll get to experience each one as you'll be on rotation along with your waiting staff. One constant on Disney Wish is that the food quality in the main dining rooms is superb. Let's get this on the knob. Mwah. Good morning, everybody. It's day two. There's a knock at the door. Let's do this. You're Damn right I ordered breakfast last night. There you go, Lord Muck. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Jamie. Yeah. Our first sunny port of call was Nassau, Bahamas. Welcome to paradise. You want to watch a movie outside? <laughs> Be my guest. Well, there is someone sat outside watching. Good for you. Make the most of it. I'll be the judge of that. Cooking with character at the Marceline Market, otherwise known as the Buffet. But shh, don't call it that. I mean, I'm just here for the aft, aren't I? What a lovely one. Oh, she looks like she's having fun. Much of the day was a complete washout with stormy conditions. And unfortunately, our port adventure to a beautiful Paradise Island was cancelled. But if you're looking to get wrecked and buy souvenirs, the port of Nassau is for you. I did the slides. I went up, up, up. But I went around, I went down, I went up. But I went down, I got wet. Good. Over the edge. Star Wars. Got that one. Avengers assemble. This is crazy. Uh, but you might know me as Ant-Man. Oh my goodness. 
If you and your family are fans of the world of Marvel, this is going to be right up your street. And again, the food was excellent. Holy macaroni, we've all been shrunk. What? Gonna get eaten by a dove? Oh, I've been looking forward to this. The Star Wars Hyperspace Lounge is for adults only in the evening. So if you haven't yet grown up like myself, you love a bit of Star Wars, well, this is perfect. Oh my God, I am geeking out. <laughs> That's so cool. Wow. Cheers, everybody. What an evening. Save the world, fly in the galaxy. Oh. oh my goodness, there are so many shops on board and this one, Mickey's main sale, is absolutely vast. And on, and on, and on. Oh, and all the way down here. God, what is that? I didn't even know I had that on. Mwah. I'll be honest, this is the day I was really looking forward to. Disney's own private island in the Bahamas, Castaway Key. And oh yes, the sun was out for us in full force today. Chin Chin Matthew, Pina Colava, yummy. And there you go, Castaway Key lunch. Mmm. Do I look stupid? Yes. can take complimentary transportation between the ship and the bays if you'd rather save those legs of yours. Oh, hey, boy. Cheers, Matthew. Happy cruise days. Our final main dining room experience in the world of Frozen. This one always reminds me a little bit of Matthew. Wow, here we are. During this experience, you can expect to meet some of the characters from Frozen and also hear some of the songs played live from Frozen 1 and 2. Oh, look. Hola. He's only got one tooth like Matthew. <laughs> I've said it before and I'll say it again. The food was so good. And also, I'm so pleased they do low sugar desserts as well. And we're back in the Canaveral. Following breakfast, it was time to disembark in what was a very simple process and make our way via Disney transportation to Disney's boardwalk. Right, let's check out the lobby. I hope it smells nice. Oh yeah, it smells nice. Very subtle scent in here actually. I'm trying to work out what it is. It's almost like baby powder. <laughs> Love the colors out here. Beautiful. How gorgeous is this? Oh, we're gonna have a good time here. Show place of the shore, a vacation sensation. Matthew was saying, I'll be the judge of that. I mean, I'm already super impressed. But it takes a lot to impress Matthew, an awful lot. We are well and truly on a boardwalk. Of course, why would it be called boardwalk otherwise? Right, so three nights on Disney Wish, sailing the Bahamas, and we're now here at Disney's boardwalk, having a bit of a pool day, waiting for our room to be prepared. Oh, you are damn right I'm going on that. A really nice space actually. Lovely pool. I believe the Disney Vacation Club wing has its own pool as well, so we'll check that out later. And the Leaping Horse Libations Bar, and it offers snacks as well. Grilled cheese by the pool. What a lush I am. Oh, Matthew's got a treat. What is that, fruit punch? Mm -hmm. Oh, what's it like? Right. Nom, nom, nom. Holy hell, look what else he's got. Look at the size of that monster cookie. All right, this is the Carousel Coffee Shop, which has caused a lot of controversy actually online. Apparently it's not deluxe enough. Thank you. I actually quite like it. <laughs> and 
and I got an iced coffee within about 10 seconds. So I think that's good going. And there's also a seating area just out here to the side of the lobby. I think it's nice. Alrighty, well after quite a long wait for a room and having to go to reception to remind them, uh, it's a long walk to the room only to find we can't get in. Uh, let's try again, shall we? Alrighty, we are staying in the DVC wing, so that's the Disney Vacation Club wing. Uh, we are on the fourth floor and we have a beautiful view of, well, a tree. Um, <laughs> and I think the Swan and Dolphin. We are 4019. Magic Band, please do your thing because you didn't work for me earlier. Here we go. And you are cordially invited to come and have a nose around our studio. And they have the kitchenette, very handy indeed. Um, we've got an old age <laughs> AC unit here. My God, I haven't seen one like that in a long time. Feels like they need to do a bit of upgrading to um, some of the rooms at the boardwalk. There's a Matthew over there being a very good boy, sat nicely, being quiet. Uh, <laughs> right, so welcome to the bedroom area. Um, well, we had a much larger bed than this at Pop Century. However, will the linen be better? Will we sleep better? I doubt it. Alrighty, and a look at the room from this angle before we head to the bathroom. What do you think, folks? I am not sure this is screaming deluxe to me. It costs a lot of money to stay here. Are you just paying for the location? Let's head into the bathroom. Now, our bathroom in Saratoga Springs was actually really very nice with um, glass panel, sliding door uh, for the shower. It was quite modernized. This one is not. <laughs> I mean, I think our bathroom in the moderate resort uh, Port Orleans Riverside was pretty much on a par with this in terms of the, the layout, the space, the clingy curtains, uh, the very, very old fashioned uh, shower head. Right, it's the height of summer, it's August. Let's hope I don't steam up. Oh, we're okay. Right, so welcome to the balcony area. Um, interestingly, there's no table out here, even though there is room. We've got two chairs. Our view is of the swan. I uh, can just see the river over there. Big tree, we love big trees. Um, rubbish down there. It's not the best view I've ever had, I've got to be honest with you. And it just, I don't know, just looks like it needs a bit of a, a scrub and a clean. What do you reckon? Have a look. I don't know. For me, this, and look, everything is just so scuffed, dirty. Look at that. Hmm. This uh, room is deluxe. It would cost you thousands of pounds to stay here for a number of nights. We've used our DVC point, so it hasn't. Would you pay a lot of money to stay in this room is the question. This is the Bellevue Lounge. Nice bar area. And there's a lovely outdoor seating area as well if you want to take drinks out there. You see, that's gorgeous. The resort is so much nicer than the feel of the rooms. Oh, it's all going on down here on the boardwalk. You get juggling, lady. Right, we're going to try and get a drink in the Abracadabra before we head to Epcot. So the Abracadabra serves bar snacks. And then you have your choice of handcrafted versus featured cocktails. Or you could just have all of them. Why choose when you can have the whole lot, eh? <laughs> this is a very, very cool bar, by the way. Cheers, Matthew. Mine looks like it's pure booze. I've got the Pepper's Ghost, which is pineapple vodka and habanero lime. Holy I mean, that's awesome. It's really fiery with the pineapple. I mean, it's strong. <laughs> oh, this makes up for our room. <laughs> the location is awesome. There's so much to do on the boardwalk as well. Love it. Well, I think that took five minutes. How awesome to be staying on the doorstep of a God, experimental prototype community of tomorrow. So for dinner tonight, we are eating our way around the world. Quite literally, well, not like Epcot world. 
Right, Matthew is buying food from Morocco, of course. All right, chicken kebab to start with. Oh, that was tasty AF. Oh, we've got a concert going on near Japan. Italia, ti amo. Right, what we're hoping for is a slice of pie. Oh my gosh, that looks good. I'm gonna try. Mm. That is Moorish. Oh yeah. Pot stickers from China. My favorite thing on the planet. So you see my loves, Disney World is not just about rides, it's about, oh look, there's a ride. Let's do that one. Oh look. Epcot forever. If you want to see that, have a look at part two. Look what I just created. How beautiful is that? I'm not sure if this is going to help us win. Let's go test our vehicle. <laughs> and just like that, we walked back to the boardwalk. I'm already knackered though. Being Disney tired is not the same as being tired normally in life, by the way. If you've ever been Disney tired, please comment below because obviously you know what I'm talking about. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Rush Hour on the Boardwalk. It is breakfast time, and I thought I would just share with you the dining options available to you on the boardwalk. Right, you are sport for choice here. This is probably one of the reasons why it's a deluxe resort. You've got the Big River Grill and Brewing Works. On the boardwalk, Thimbles and Threads is the general store, so you can get all sorts of groceries there. As we saw yesterday, just next to the lobby, you've got the Carousel Coffee Shop. For that fine dining experience, you've got the very well-renowned Flying Fish. The Abracadabra does serve some small dishes as well. There's a pizza booth as well, so you can get your large slices of pizza. Boardwalk Joe's for not just margaritas, but also some uh, light snacks. You have the Boardwalk Deli. The Boardwalk Ice Cream for all your ice creams, sundaes and shakes. Coming later this year as well, you've got the Cake Bake. The Trattoria al Forno, which serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, here it is. Yeah, I've been here a couple of times, actually. Thank you. All righty, here's a peep at the breakfast menu at the Trattoria al Forno. Looks good, and just a little bit different for Disney as well, which I appreciate. Oh, iced coffee. You can keep your sweetener. That is one Mahusiv Kahuna pot of coffee. We got cream, oh yes. No chin chin, Matthew? No. No? Coffee. Yeah, you could do the coffee, no? No, he's having none of it. I'll do it. Cheers, Matthew. Matthew has the eggs anyhow, which way, what way you want, with bacon, sausage, and potato. I know this might seem unholy, but I've been ever so good this holiday, really. I've got a breakfast pizza, and it looks and smells divine. Pizza for breakfast? Yeah. Damn right. <laughs> Pizza explosion in the mouth. Live kitchen, we love a live kitchen. I think we agreed that was one of the more successful sit down breakfast options on the whole of Disney World site. Absolutely. And let's not forget you have easy access to the Swan and Dolphin with all their restaurants and bars. You've got the Yacht Club, the Beach Club, and you've got Epcot just around that corner. So as far as dining options go, I think this is very difficult to beat. Oh, hey, friendship boat. Don't forget you can take one of these friendship boats around the lake to the other resorts, but also it will take you to Epcot if you don't fancy the walk. And it will also take you to Hollywood Studios if you don't fancy the walk. Alrighty, so apart from the fabulous boardwalk entertainment, you also have Jelly Rolls, which is a dueling piano bar, hoping to go there tomorrow, and the Atlantic uh, Dance Club. It is indeed a nightclub. All right, before it gets too hot, we are going to have a little tour of this Epcot Resort. I've got a lot to see. So this is the dolphin part of the Swan and Dolphin, and over there 
Uh, the newer building is the Swan Reserve Hotel. Quick peep at the interior of the Swan. Just in case you're not sure whether you're in the Swan or Dolphin, there are uh, swans. Don't you worry, there is merch galore here as well. We got coffee shops, we got restaurants, frozen drinks. There you go, the Swan Reserve. Oh, we've got a beach. Alrighty, this is the dolphin. Unfortunately, the huge water feature is being renovated at the moment. Did I mention that this is a convention center as well? And there are a lot of business people here. Coffee is fuel. We've got Mexican food. Todd English is Blue Zoo. And we've just made our way around to Disney's Yacht Club. I've never stayed here actually. Listen up folks, if you have stayed at the Yacht Club, I'd love to hear from you. What was your experience like? I know it's not cheap. Oh yeah, we are nautical all the way in this lobby. I love it. And it smells divine, like sea salt. The Yachtsman Steakhouse, that's another place I've not been. And then as if by magic, this turns into the beach club. You know you're at the beach club when you see the beach. Alrighty, back at the boardwalk. And we are in the DVC wing area, which has a really nice quiet pool. And it comes with its own hot tub, giant chest set. And as always, pool floats, life jackets. We've got a hoist here, which is great. Table tennis, lovely quiet pool. Bit of cornhole, who doesn't love a cornhole? so quiet here. Lady in the pool, heard you. So we don't have a, a, a mini laundrette in our room, unlike the one, two, three bedroom villas. This is the laundrette. It's probably the <laughs> smallest and dirtiest we've seen on any property so far. Come on, Boardwalk, you can do better than this. There is a complimentary gym to use on site. No, thank you. Snickerdoodle muffin, bigger than my head. I'm going on a boat. Epcot, here we come. Again, we love Epcot. Look at this lovely, lovely, gorgeous resort. Here she comes. Welcome to our friendship boat. Love friendship boats. Well, would you look at that? We're back in the UK. We're actually eating at the Rose and Crown tonight. I've never eaten there in 23 years of coming here. All right, all right, I know I'm so obvious, but I'm going on my favorite ride. I'm gonna ride that puppy. The wonders of Mafu, and yes, he is ahead. Smells like fresh furniture in here. <laughs> These cars, by the way, actually rotate through the roller coaster ride. Alrighty, so what do I love about that so much? Um, I love the backward launch. I love the effects inside. It feels absolutely amazing when you're rotating. Uh, it just gives you a really unique and different sort of sense of feeling riding a coaster when that happens. It's exhilarating, it's got airtime, it's got music, it's got a story, it's got everything. And it had me. Oh, look how pretty it is. Hi, honey, we're home. Well, here we are. It does feel a bit like being at home. And there's vinegar on the table, thank goodness. We already know this is quite a limited menu. Uh, I think we already know what we're having as well. What would you have? Okay, so in England, you don't tend to get scotch eggs from an appetizer, but you know, when in the Rose and Crown in Epcot. It was actually nice. Um, it's not traditional right, British sausage. It's got fennel in this, a bit like Italian sausage, but it's nice. Oh, would you look at that, Epcot Forever's just started. We seem to be here through Epcot Forever quite a lot, don't we? Mafu Forever, that's what they should have called it. I'm sure they would flock from all over the world to see it. Alrighty, Mafu's Fish and Chips has arrived. There's a lot of it. 
and tartare as well. I've got the shepherd's pie that's made with beef, so therefore it's actually cottage pie, but let that be our secret. Cottage pie. Is it as good as mine? <laughs> no. Right, so we weren't looking for, you know, an authentic experience in the UK for a dinner, because that wouldn't exist here. However, uh, we are really sorry to any Americans or visitors from around the globe who have eaten at the Rose and Crown at Epcot. Uh, it does not represent <laughs> the food in the UK at all. My um, cottage pie, it was, it was nice enough, okay? Matthew's fish and chips, I don't think went down. <laughs> he didn't enjoy it. <laughs> Indeed, Matthew described the fish as pungent. Oh dear. Anyway, we're back on the boardwalk. All is well again. Ah, oh, look, we've got a movie on the lawn. Blankets out, little lanterns. Morning, everybody. It's breakfast time. Breakfast at the Trattoria again, because we liked it so much yesterday. Just a small stack of pancakes. Don't forget, Surrey Bike Rental right here on the boardwalk. You can go round and round and round and round in the heat, it'll be fabulous. Right, we're gonna do a bit of park hopping today. So Epcot followed by studios, accessed via boat and then the Skyliner. So if you're a boardwalk guest, you can enter the park into World Showcase, much quieter. This might sound lame, but I've never taken the boat transfer from uh, World Showcase to World Celebration. So I'm gonna do that. I wanna see Epcot from the lake from a different perspective. I'm all about angles. Here she comes. I'm on a boat, again. Oh, go on, one more time then. Mission space. I'm not sure I want to go on that because it makes me a little bit pukey. Less intense training, more intense training. Hmm. It's got to be orange and more intense. It has, hasn't it? What's the point otherwise? Ooh, mission space. At my age, what are you doing to me? Ooh, vomitron. Blah, 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 blah. Matthew is having a resort day. I've come to Epcot on my own. That's fine. I wanted to go on test track, which has a 75 minute wait. However, I was able to join the single riders line and I walked straight to the front, straight on the ride. So, top tip right there. So this is the brewing lab where you can get experimental concoctions. I'm not sure I'm brave enough. I'm not sure I'm much of a wings man, to be honest with you. Although I love the title, unnecessarily spicy, yet extremely tasty Scotch bonnet pepper curry wings. That's awesome. Hola, Mexico. You know what? This pavilion is so popular at Christmas, you have to queue to get into the pavilion. <laughs> and if you like your tequila, you're in luck. They actually have a Cava del Tequila here. You are damn right. It's a pot sticker lunch for me from the Lotus Blossom Cafe. The best. I swear I am so gonna miss you, Lotus Blossom Cafe. Why can't we have one in Basingstoke? Alrighty, let's see how easy it is to park hop. We are gonna take the Skyliner to Hollywood Studios. I got my own, I got my own. And here we go. Oh, and here comes the breeze. Beautiful. <laughs> yes, I am sweating like a pig. Does a pig sweat? Welcome aboard the Thank Disney you. Skyliner Thank and you. Epcot International Gateway. We hope you enjoyed your visit to Epcot and World Showcase. All right, next stop is Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. So at the Caribbean Resort, the Skyliner is actually the central hub, and this is where all lines begin and end. All righty, Hollywood Studios, this way. Hollywood, baby. And you can probably see the Tower of Terror up ahead, so not far at all. Oh. I think traveling by Skyliner gives you a really good idea as to just how massive Walt Disney World is. 
43 square miles is it? I hope I got that right. Oh, gorgeous car park views now look folks. And when I'm done here, I'm gonna take a friendship boat straight back to the boardwalk. It's super easy. Oh my God, we're gonna hit it, we're gonna hit it, we're gonna hit it. We made it. And just like that, babies, we're in Hollywood. It's gonna be runaway railway for me. Did you prefer this one? It was the great movie ride, or do you prefer it now as Mickey and Minnie's runaway railway train mine thing? I prefer it now. <laughs> Can't believe I just said that out loud. I prefer it now. Oh, hi, you want to take a ride on the train? Honestly, this ride is so cool. It's like being inside a cartoon, I swear. Woo. Time to dance. Let's get faster, Daisy. Now, let's come We've broken down. I love wiping down on a ride. Not mentally, obviously. Oh, we've definitely broken down because the lights are on now. <laughs> oh, how cool is this for a breakdown? <laughs> wow, we nearly made it to the end of the ride. Broke down, lights on, escorted off. Wasn't allowed to film or take pictures. I understand why. Um, but there were cast members right at the end waiting for us and they were activating magic fans to give us another lightning lane access in the park from now, which is great. In the name of all that rocks, let's hit it. And there you go, park hopping a la Disney World. Now then my loves, I haven't asked much of you, have I now, the last few weeks? No, I haven't. I'm gonna ask you this though, please do not congregate as groups of people in the entrance and exit of attractions or shops or restaurants, anything like that. Please, for the love of Mickey Mouse, you are so irritating. <laughs> Don't do it. All freshened up and ready for the evening ahead. We are going to Jelly Rolls, a dueling piano bar. <laughs> no, we are really. Here we go. Here we are. Entrance fee is $20 each. Ouch. Write your requests for the pianist on a napkin. It's pizza time. Boardwalk vibes, there's fireworks going off everywhere. We got pizza to go. Pizza in bed. What a lush. Super slice. <laughs> Well, would you look at this? We are just about to check into Coronado Springs, which is resort five of five of this trip. First impressions are excellent of this moderate resort and the lobby smells delicious. You know what, I have this feeling by the end of this trip and five resorts that we're gonna have preferred the moderate ones to the deluxe ones. Just a hunch, we'll find out, won't we? Loving the colors, the layout, gorgeous. Whoa, the quick serve area, El Mercado. It's got everything you can imagine. Plus, look at the size of it. It's done out really, really nicely. Not to mention each table has condiments on it and we've been struggling to get just salt in deluxe. <laughs> Spicy Nashville chicken burger. That's a half pounder, whoa. Loving the Hispanic vibe here, folks. Oh yes. I believe there's a bar and restaurant halfway across this lake. Wow, Villa del Lago. Looks awesome. This is what moderate gets you. 
So this used to be the old lobby before they built the Destino Tower. It's done out really nicely. Loads of charging stations around here for your devices. Look at the Barcelona lounge. Beautiful, Gaudi all the way. Oh, look, it's our block, Ranchos 6B. Oh, and we have access to our room. We are in the Ranchos section, uh, not too far from the Diggs pool. Uh, this is 6630. I will, of course, do a full tour, but first impressions are very good. And I'm telling you this much, it's not grubby like our deluxe um, studio at the boardwalk. You know, Modera actually seems to be coming out trumps for us in terms of good value, uh, good quality accommodation, clean, comfortable, updated as well. I think this is a really good space for Modera. I'm starting to think Modera all the way. Peep from this angle. Yes, yes, yes. Angles, 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 perspectives, everything. Oh, look, and no clingy curtains, unlike the boardwalk. Well, I love the grounds here. I've got to say, so far, so good. Let's go to the dig site, eh? Yes. You are so tame. Hello. Wowzers, this is an awesome pool. It's huge. This is the Jaguar slide for obvious reasons, but I don't know why he's spitting or has he been sick? Again, again, again. Naughty! Oh. Woo. Here comes Matthew. Woo. <laughs> Such a cool pool, love it. Mayan temple, it's a real one. Look at the kahunas on that pool, eh? Well, and next to the pool, we have an arcade, a uh, children's area, and siestas, which is where you can get some uh, hot food. They've got burgers, they've also got salads, and we have a cocktail bar. Oh my goodness, I underestimated siestas. They've actually got a lot more food out here than I realized. Good options. Now then, this bar interests me because of its frozen cocktails. These sound awesome. Oh, now look at that, a thing of beauty. El Sauvignon Passion. Good evening, everybody. It's time to head out, have a drink or two, and find some dinner. Oh, Coronado, you've got my heart already. You've stolen my heart, my cold little heart. Barcelona. I love this lounge. Look, it's like the Sagrada Familia bending over the top of you. <laughs> Radio, we are here at the Maya Grill for our dinner. Well, listen up, we've just had the most awesome welcome to the Maya Grill. Lovely people on the desk and our waitress server. She's so cool. Abigail with two Bs. Alrighty, let's check out the menu. Look, they say starters on this one and not appetizers. This makes me happy. Uh, I think we're going to go with a chips and salsa trio and we're going to add guac. Ooh, salad. Who does that? Okay, and of course, for your mains, your entrees, you've got quesadillas, enchiladas, tacos, chile relleno, mole, and as my friend from the north of England says, fangia man, fajitas. Holy macaroni, look how many of those there are. And we've got uh, three dips plus some guac. Salud. Alrighty, we've got fajita. Uh, it comes with some street corn as well, which I love. Got all your little bits and bobs, odds and sods, nick and nat, brit and brack. Uh, we've got refried beans, we've got uh, cilantro rice. It looks good and it smells awesome. We were just talking about refried beans and whether you can actually make them look less like, you know, an accident. So here's an experiment. Um, no, an accident with green leaves. Oof, all gone. That was actually really nice. And just reaffirms to us that some of the moderate resorts have restaurants that are much, much better value than the deluxe. And actually, the food is just as good, just as tasty. So, leaning towards the moderate, we are. 
And there you have the Maya Grill. Oh my god, the music. Yes, Panchito, see. Si. It's a shop, but again, good size. And if you saw my reviews of the other resorts, this is definitely bigger than some of the deluxe. And I'm not being a size queen or anything like that, my loves. I'm just looking out for you. It's all about value for money, isn't it? Good morning, everybody. It's our last full day here in Florida. We're just heading off to some breakfast to Rick's Sports Bar. I know, me going to a sports bar. <laughs> I love the Laguna Bar. Only open in the evenings. It's lakeside. They've got a lovely outdoor area here. It was all lit up last night. Might pop in tonight for a drink. Alrighty, here are the morning offerings from Rick's Bar. What would you go for? All right, Matthew's got scrambled egg, bacon, potatoes, and a little bit of tomato, plus some toast. Pancakes and berries for me, no sugar, no syrup. Well, that was very unexpected. I think that probably was our most successful breakfast anywhere on Disney property for this trip. Um, good portion, very tasty, pretty good value, and the service was excellent. So. Yeah, a surprise. I recommend Rick's at Coronado Springs. By the way, at the front of the Destino Tower, you have this very, very long bench. I think it's supposed to replicate the uh, world's largest bench, which is located at Park Güell in Barcelona, I think. Love all the Florida chairs dotted around Coronado Springs as well. Beautiful. Alrighty, this is the Ranchos Quiet Pool. It's very quiet, so I'm trying to be quiet. Well behaved, you see, very well behaved boy. It's a good size actually. There are life jackets here for kids and adults who need them. Uh, there's a laundry room. Uh, back in the Barcelona lounge, my favorite place for a nice coffee. Ice, ice, latte. Ding, 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 ding. I'm sorry, I know that's annoying. I'm just here to annoy you. Donut, fresh from Barcelona. No, not Barcelona. The quick serve, it's, it's fresh from the quick serve. Let's head to the top of that tower. Here we are, the Dahlia Lounge. Let's see if we can get a table. Wowzers, this is such a beautiful bar. And I'm gonna say this again, and I know you're gonna get fed up with me. As far as bars go, this is probably the nicest we've been to, the most unique on any Disney property, including the deluxe. And the outdoor seating area, also divine. So you've got views of Animal Kingdom over there. We've got Blizzard Beach here. Around here, you've got Hollywood Studios. The views are awesome. Galaxy's Edge, and just over here, you've got Tower of Terror. There it is, you cannot escape from me. Chin Chin Matthew, here's to the last evening. Nom nom nom. Alrighty, so we've got some smoked paprika uh, chips and a little bit of tortilla española. Matthew, what's this? Dollars. Yeah, but what's significant about these dollars? It's the last of it. The last of it. And then we run out, haven't we? Well, but we are... of cash. I, uh... We're going home tomorrow though, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. All right, can we take a moment to just appreciate the floor in here? You know, I'm all about flooring these days at my age. <laughs> Holy shawarma, look at the size of the conference center. My God, that's massive. And there you have the Dahlia Lounge, my new favorite bar in the whole of Walt Disney World. Oh, we've got another event here. It looks like another pin trading event. This is super popular. You know what? In part one of my vlog, I said no one does pin trading anymore. Now look. All right, we're at the Mercado for quick serve pizza. Cook, my babies, cook. Pepperoni themed. One more Disney pizza. Oh, I love the outdoor area here. And the Laguna Bar is open. We've got movie on the lawn. Enjoy everybody. The backside of cinema. Oh my goodness, my loves. And just like that, we need to pack for the very last time. Some of you have been asking online, how on earth have you managed five resorts plus a cruise? Um, in terms of organizing the packing. Well, these cubes come in very useful. Um, for each segment of our trip, we've had a different cube 
um, with our clothing. That might sound a little bit OTT in terms of organization, but it's worked brilliantly and it's really saved us a lot of time. Alrighty, it's checkout time and travel day back to the UK. But we don't have to check in for our flight until 4 p.m. So breakfast, pool. <laughs> Alrighty, quick serve breakfast platter. No way of making that look nice. Definitely starting as I mean to go on today. Will I miss this lake? Of course not. We've got East Drop Park in Basinstoke. Look it up, folks. It's literally the same. Alrighty, get me by that pool. Folks, you know that feeling on your last day or last morning before catching a, an afternoon or evening flight and you're clinging on for dear life? That's me. One more dip in the pool. No, just one more dip in the pool. Oh, let me have one more dip. Alrighty, time to freshen up, ready for our journey to the airport. It's only about 20, 25 minutes from Disney to uh, Orlando International, so no big deal. And then our Virgin Atlantic flight. We did actually upgrade for a small amount to the premium cabin, so I'm hoping that's gonna be a great experience. But in the meantime, a summary of the last 23 nights, I mean, where to start well the first thing you've been asking about online is our favorite resort of the whole trip well if you haven't guessed already i am team moderate yes i am i think you get excellent value for money when you stay in a moderate resort at walt disney world and coronado springs um and riverside at port orleans have both been absolutely fantastic value for money with great facilities and also a really wide range of food and beverage options as well. I'm a fan. The rooms in both were also very comfortable, spacious, bright, airy, comfortable, clean, etc. etc. So yeah, a fan. If you're gonna do deluxe, I'm expecting more value for the Kaching. I've got to be honest with you. And what we found is that deluxe resorts tend to have the location over the moderate, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the rooms were any better or the service was any better. So, you know, I'm all about value for money. I love a little bit of luxury, no doubt about it, but moderate all the way on this particular trip. I have also been asked, is there a thing as too much Disney? You've been there so long, Jamie. I think the answer to that is yes. <laughs> you might have noticed that the last week, actually, since our Disney cruise, we have gone mellow. We've had more pool time, relaxation. I think if you're doing a Disney holiday, it's really important to factor in, if you're on a longer holiday here, you are gonna need some much needed downtime. If you're only here for a few days, maybe up to a week, yeah, I can imagine you're gonna be doing park, park, park hopping, park heavy itinerary, I get it but if you're here for longer, you need your downtime, no doubt about it. The weather, oh my God, I'm so bored of hearing about the weather. It's hot, it's steamy, it's humid in the summer in Florida. I mean, what more can I tell you? What I will say is we've had very, very little rain. Those people said it rains every day. It does not rain every day. We've had maybe three downpours in the last 3.2 weeks, that's it. You might say, well, that's unusual for Florida. I don't care. That's been the actual experience here. You can, of course, get some very severe tropical weather here. And towards the end of August, moving into September is actually peak time for tropical storms and hurricanes. But that doesn't mean you're gonna get one. If you can manage the heat and humidity of the summer in Orlando, and I'm not suggesting it's easy at times, uh, but if you can, you will benefit from lower wait times at the parks as well. Mid-August onwards, it starts getting a lot quieter. We've had very low wait times for uh, many of the most popular rides. Uh, so that has been a goddess send. And of course, as you would expect, the service on the whole has been second to none. World class, absolutely love it. We'll miss that tremendously. I'll tell you one thing, folks. I am so staying in that tower the next time I come here. See you, Coronado. Love you. If you'd like to follow our complete Virgin Atlantic experience in premium, just search Travel Blog Jamie Virgin Atlantic Premium Cabin. Ugh, that terrible feeling when you take off and leave your second home. Ah, 
and after seven hours, 40 minutes, welcome to London Heathrow. Bye, bye Heathrow, see ya. Smelly old Heathrow. Well folks, we've just spent 23 nights together. Hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. And as a famous man once said, don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. On that note, love to you all. Thank you all for your ongoing support and here are today's shout outs for my patrons. You can become a member at patreon.com forward slash travel blog Jamie. And of course, don't forget to follow me on X, Threads, Instagram, Patreon and YouTube.